viewers and YouTubers, it's Dirty Guts here. Today I'm going to be talking about Share Factory, the new PlayStation 4 video editing app. And I'm going to show you the ins and outs on how to use it properly. So first here we got, this is the start screen. You select My Projects or New Projects. For this we're going to select a new project. Press X. You uh, got four themes to choose from. Um, Playroom, PlayStation 4 theme, Infamous Second Son theme and the share factory theme i think we're going to try the share factory theme today let's click on that and on this this area here it'll show you uh all your videos that you've captured that you've saved on your system so you pick one you can pick two you can pick as many as you want actually you can pick as many as you want as long as you don't exceed the 20 minutes so for this uh for this uh tutorial here we're going to just sh pick a short one 3 minute 31 seconds and then you click on square you can rename your project if you want just by hitting it and then you can put any name there you want but we're just going to leave it at share factory and then hit done continue loads up now this is your bread and butter here this is where you get everything done and as you can see that's how the share factory theme starts out you can add an FX here if you want so if you wanted to add something here on the uh, the X button add FX now you can add a sticker which I really don't use stickers too much and uh, you got these are all stickers you can add comment bubbles oops I backed out of it and then you got theme stickers and filters, different filters. There ain't too many right yet. I'm sure that Share Factory will add a lot of things as you go. Probably a lot of stuff in this store that they'll want you to buy and so on and so forth. I'm sure they'll have free stuff too. And I'm sure there'll be premium stuff as well. Different layouts, vertical bands. See, let's uh, let's add a vertical band just to show you. Square right. You know, this different stuff. Here's a vertical band. That's what it would look like. And then say you didn't like that. Well, you hit square. You go to edit FX. Hit horizontal. And delete filter. Confirm. And it's back to normal. Just like so. So like I said, normally I don't do much to the to the intro. I leave that the way it is. So let's okay. And then so next you got a transition right here. So say you don't like that transition, you just go to the transition. Make sure it's orange, like it is there. Hit edit. You can. Uh, well, actually no. You'll hit. You'll hit square. You'll hit edit transition. It'll ask you if you want to delete the transition or replace it. Let's replace it. And then you got different dissolves and different wipes and different cinematics. There's the wipes. We can try. Let's go to cinematic. I, I like this one here a lot. This is what I use a lot, the explosion. Just confirm and now look. And you got a little explosion. Pretty neat, yeah. So, when you want to add something, say I want to change Share Factory Dirty Guts. Okay. So you click on it. Then you hit Edit FX. Click on it. You can edit the text, you can delete the text, or whatever. Now, when you go to edit text or anything, when you want to add an FX, if you go and hit edit FX and you're in the middle of the frame, like I am here, I see how I'm right here in the middle, and you hit, let's say, let's say you want to add something, you hit X, add FX, 
let's add some text. Let's just put P S four. Okay. And then let's change the color to red. Let's move it down here. Let's put it right there. Okay. So then we're done. Now this is what I'm trying to show you here on the FX's text, anything, stickers, no matter what FX you use. This is what I'm trying to say about it. Um, see, okay, so we're in the middle of the frame, 0.07 seconds. Now what I want to show you is if you don't see what you what what I should have did was I should have went to the five second mark, the very beginning of the frame. And if you don't add the FX at the beginning of the frame, the FX won't start until it gets to where you were when you added it. So you gotta be careful on that. Make sure that if you want it at the beginning of the frame you need to make sure you're at the beginning of the frame before you add the FX. And then bang, bang, boom goes into the gameplay. So what I will do is I will go back. I'll hit square. I'll go to edit FX. Hit next deck FX. Edit. Delete. Confirm. So now I would go back, I would back up right at the beginning. Press X, add FX, type in PS4, done, pick my color. I will do red again. If I want to move it a little bit, we can move, you can move it wherever you want. There we go. Done. Now, as you'll see, the PS4 will be at the beginning of that frame and end at the end of the frame. So, you know, that's how the FX works. If you want to, you know, say you only, say you do only want it halfway through the frame. Well, then hit, go to the, go whatever point you want the FX to start. Press X, say add FX, just add a quick sticker, and there you go. Now that won't start until at 7 seconds, you can move it wherever you want, put it right there, and there you go. See, now it won't start until you're at 7 seconds. And it, all your FX's end at the beginning of the next frame. So here's another thing. Let's let's change this also. So we will let's change this transition. Let's go to edit transition, replace transition. We'll try something different this time. Let's try a, a dissolve or fade to black. Usually a fade to black you wouldn't really use, you know, in the middle of a video, but we're going to use it anyways just to show you difference. So then there you go. Alright, so we're playing. Say, say, okay, you didn't, say you didn't want somebody to see that. Okay, say that you didn't want that part to be in your video. So this whole beginning part, you can just, you don't have, you can just fast forward it a bit. Okay. Say all you want to have people see is your kills. You want to make like a kill reel, you know. So your first kill would be right there. So what you'll do is, You'll hit square, go to split clip, and just hit X. Confirm. And now, say you don't want this in your video, just press square. Put the little trash can down there. Confirm, delete clip. And now it just shows your kill. And say you want to put an FX here, but you don't want it to, if, if you put an FX right here, Okay, let's say that. Let's add something. Another FX tutorial here. You'll press X. You'll hit Add FX. We'll just put, let's see what we got. Let's go to stickers. Let's go.
let's move it over here. Let's move it over the other side, let's say. And you want it right there. Okay. Done. Press circle, back out. Now. So you go on, you measure FX, right? Well, now the FX stays. Well, why does it stay? See, the only way to make the FX go away is to split the clip. So, uh, so you want the sticker to go away after you get this next kill. Okay. Well, what you'll do is you'll press square, you'll hit split clip, and you'll split it right there. And now that that FX will only last as long as the next split, as you can see. And see, now it goes away. So that's the only way to end an FX. If you just, you know, never split it and it's all one clip, it will last to the end of the video. So when you want that FX to end, you have to split that clip. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't hurt if you split the clip because once you render the video, all those little blotches will be out. It'll still go smooth. It won't, it won't stop right there or anything. So I wouldn't even add a transition or nothing. Um, and that's how you, uh, end an FX. And that's any FX. That's stickers, transition, that's stickers, um, text. Any FX you add, that's how you can, that's how you make the duration of it. As you can see, it ends on the next clip. So now you got your two kills right there. You pwned them. And now we're going to go some more. Okay, this is so you don't, you know, did. No, see, I died, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit, delete all this. I don't want anybody to see this. So I'm just making a kill clip. So what I'll do is I'll split it here, delete it, and now we can watch it for a second. I'll show you how I did that. So it just looks like a never-ending. You know, a bunch of kills. Boom. Done. Now you go on to the next one. And we'll do the same thing again. Delete. Split again. Split again. Delete that. Delete all that. So as you can see, you know, that's how you do split clips. And if you, like I said, just make a bunch of kills and whatnot. So another thing about share factor is you can only have 40 different clips. So you may have to, if, if you want to make a longer, you know, kill streak or video or whatever, you have to render the first video and then bring that and then start a new project, bring the video you already made into Share Factory and then add other videos to it and start splitting your clips again. So um, that's part one of my Share Factory tutorial. Share Factory only allows you to make a 15 minute video. So check out part two of my Share Factory tutorial. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.